What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on PLTR ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here. At this very point, uh, when we started to form this candle, and uh, this candle is quite bullish, I have to say, it has a huge uh, green volume, and uh, it is uh, basically a hammer candle that might uh, show us a potential trend reversal. And we had uh, this uh, small leg to the downside, and we pretty much hit again the range of about $12 as our support range. And from this point, we also have uh, next green candle that is starting to form right now. And uh, basically, we might see the trend continuation to the upside from this very range. And why I'm quite confident about this movement? Let me show you that on a greater scale, we have uh, this ABC correction from the very top of uh, its price section to this very bottom. And uh, the C wave should have a shape of five wave structure. And as you can see for now, we already form or almost form uh, these uh, five waves. And uh, I have to say that uh, the fifth wave also should have a five wave structure. And in my opinion, we already, uh, let me show it to you more thoroughly. We, I think we form it already, or potentially we might have a tiny leg to the downside in order to complete this wave. And right after that, we have to have at least a bounce. And in my technical analysis, I will show you how high this bounce should be. And for now, let's continue with the fundamentals. And I will show you why the fundamentals are also very bullish for this asset. First of all, let's start with the negative news. We have uh, several articles. Uh, basically, we have two articles. So one of them was published on Seeking Alpha and one of them was published uh, on uh, Simply Wall Street. And uh, let me show you that uh, it is quite uh, similar because uh, they have uh, the same, almost the same title. Palantir is fully valued. And one article set the price of uh, this stock uh, for about $13. So let me show you more thoroughly that uh, it has the price target of uh, $12.7. And the other article uh, set the price uh, target of this uh, stock at about $11.41. And uh, this means uh, for now we are exactly at the range of uh, these uh, price points and this means uh, it is a fair value according to these articles of this stock. But I don't think uh, that uh, we might count on this uh, forecast and I will show you in a minute why. First of all, let me show you this uh, article and it was published also on uh, Seeking Alpha and it says Palantir Insider Selling Problem. And uh, this article explains why this problem might end soon. Let me quote you the summary first of all. Palantir's insider have sold roughly $2.2 billion worth of shares since the company's direct listing. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. Insider selling has been abysmally low in December and January. Palantir is looking attractively priced at the current levels and investors with a long-term time horizon may want to consider buying it on dips. And let me show you, first of all, this chart. It is a Palantir Insider sales by month. And uh, as you can see, since uh, 2020, since this company became public, we have a lot of uh, insider sellings and the highest amount was sold uh, on February 2021. But December and January has abysmally low levels uh, of these sales. And uh, let me show you another table. And this table shows the number of uh, insider stock options and their expiration dates. And let me show you that uh, Alex Carp has uh, more than 56 million shares. At these dates, Alex Carp was forced to sell some of these shares in order to cover his taxes. And uh, that's why we have uh, a lot of predefined sales. And uh, definitely right here, as you can see, we don't have any expiration dates before 
June of 2030. This means most likely we won't see high number of sales and I am pretty sure of that at least for several years and uh, it is quite bullish news. Next one, let me show you right here that uh, Palantir is hiring. Palantir names Philip Matthew as president of Palantir EMEA. Palantir Technologies announced the appointment of Philip Matthew as uh, the head of the company's Europe, Middle East and Africa region. Matthew will be responsible for driving the expansion of Palantir across the EMEA region, a role he previously held at Oracle, where he was executive vice president of EMEA and uh, GAPAC, responsible for overall, for overall sales uh, and P&L for Oracle business, amounting to $16 billion in revenue. And definitely it is a very good sign that uh, Palantir is expanding its presence uh, on uh, Europe, Middle East and Africa. And on top of that, let me show you right here on uh, LinkedIn.com, we have uh, this post made by Justin Reid and he works uh, on Palantir as well. And uh, he posted this, we are solving the world's most important problems. Will you join us? And he added, we will be hiring for 1000 plus roles this year at Palantir. If you are interested in learning more about potential hiring opportunities, you can click the link below. And here is uh, the link and it is uh, the Palantir's official website. And uh, right here you can read that if you are landed on this page, it's because someone at Palantir thinks you could be a great fit for our unique culture. Read on and learn more about. And definitely 1000 plus of new roles in Palantir just in 2022, it is extremely high number and definitely they will drastically increase their presence uh, not only in the United States and basically in both of Americas, but in Europe, Middle East and Africa. And definitely it will lead uh, to higher prices of their stocks. So I think uh, this uh, company for now at the point uh, where it has extremely high potential with uh, definitely low number of risks. And uh, let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as usual, we have uh, two options. First of all, if you want to catch the trade, if you want to catch the bounce, let me show you that on a daily time frame, we started to have uh, this uh, movement to the upside with the RSI. And this means we might have a bounce on the price action as well. And how high this bounce might be. Uh, so, in worst case scenario, if uh, this count is incorrect, we have to retrace only the last wave only. And uh, to make this retracement, to measure this retracement, I have to pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this top to this bottom. And uh, the price target might be at 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level. And the, it is a price point of roughly $14.85. So, at least uh, from our current price, if it is the bottom and basically it is a double bottom pattern, quite a good bullish pattern. From our current uh, price, we might have about 18% uh, of potential profits and it is the worst case scenario. But if uh, this count is correct and uh, we already formed uh, the five wave structure in our ending wave and the, if it is the bottom, we should retrace at least the entire movement from this uh, top. And definitely in this case, we will have, let me show you more thoroughly. In this case, uh, we will have the range uh, where we might land at around uh, $18.55. And it is uh, roughly 50% of upside potential for at least a bounce. But I have to say that uh, most likely because of uh, the total price action that we have for now, we will finish this retracement at the levels of uh, $18.7. And uh, definitely, if uh, we won't see a huge bearish pressure from Federal Reserve and uh, from the total sentiment of the market, we might have the next leg to the upside that will exceed the previous uh, B point. And uh, definitely the medium term price target for this asset is $29.21. And uh, I think uh, we might hit it uh, by the end of this year and uh, in a matter of uh, 11 months. This asset have a potential of more than 131% of potential profits. 
So it is what it is. Uh, if you want to invest, just accumulate at these very ranges. But if you want to catch the bounce, I suggest you to wait until uh, you will have more confirmation that we have uh, higher highs and higher lows. And in this case, uh, we will be able to re-enter the position, short term and medium term position with this company to catch this bounce to the upside. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys until next time. Bye!